Lenovo Wipeshot has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 chipset uh, that belongs to a higher mid-range uh, chipset. Uh, it's got a four core processor with 1.7 gigahertz and Cortex A53 architecture. And for graphics, you get a Adreno 405 chip. Uh, there is a weaker uh, chipset variant. So when you're buying the Lenovo Wipeshot, you should definitely be careful to choose uh, this more advanced chipset. On Intuitive Benchmark, uh, in graphics, you'll, you'll get 14 to 18 FPS frames per second. Uh, and it can maximally achieve up to 23 frames per second, but this is like average. Uh, and in the end of Intuitu benchmark, Vibe Shot will achieve uh, 39,000 points, which is uh, very well. And it's as expected uh, on on specifications. It's a bit higher mid range. You won't wait too long to load the games, and they work nice fluidly. There is no twitching. Uh, at least while I played real racing and, and these not so advanced games. Um, it might uh, twitch a little bit after longer playing, uh, but I think it'll be okay for games and uh, the, the case doesn't heat up. So that's, that's a good thing. The internal memory has 32 gigabytes, so you'll be able to install really all the applications and advanced games you want. And over the micro SD card, you can get up to 128 gigabytes on chipset you have three gigabytes of ram which should be enough for all the applications uh running on this smartphone but while i used it the interface uh slowed down and it got blocked uh when too many applications was opened but after that it was working okay and it didn't generally slow down uh it can open a bunch of uh, windows in a browser so uh, no problem with that uh, in the end, Lenovo Wipeshot is a little bit better and a little bit faster than average smartphone, but there are definitely uh, faster smartphones than this one. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope I help you with this video. If you have Lenovo Wipeshot, I'd like to see your comments below uh, and uh, that's it. Bye.